My name's Al Linder. I'm a site engineer here for Cray Inc. I'm going to walk you through the upgrade process from a four core processor to the six core processor. First thing we'll do is we take the cover off. I've already removed the screws. Then the next thing we do is take the heat sinks off. These are multi pipe heat sinks. We use heat sink clips to hold them together so they don't fall apart when I take the screws out. You just take the screws out. And then I take the heat sinks off. They have heat sink compound on the inside of them. Okay. They go to this station over here where they'll be cleaned while I continue to you know, take the heat sinks off, move the modules. And from this station, I would move the module down to the next station. This point is where we change the actual processors. We unclip all the processors. Remove and take the old ones and just put in a tray. We are we're not going to reuse these processors here. They'll go back to Chippewa to our manufacturing plant. Now, when I take a chip out, I'll also take a quick look at the socket and I'll look for any bent pins or any damage that might have taken place anywhere along the line. And we take new chips and just set them in the sockets. Once the chip is in, then we just lock them back down in the holders. Then the module then goes to the next station where we would reapply heat sink compound. This device is a meter device and it applies the same amount of heat sink to each chip. The heat sink applied, then we have to put the heat sinks back on. Now these would already have been cleaned off, so I've got some clean ones I'm putting back on. Then we screw them back down, and these screwdrivers have a preset torque so that everybody has the same amount of torque on them. That presses the heat sink compound evenly across the top of the chip for the heat dissipation. Then we remove the clips. Now this is a basically air cooled through these heat sinks so there's channels that the air is fired goes up through. Okay, now with this station done, we would come over to this last station where we'd actually program the operating parameters that we wanted to use on them. So, we got a micro setup here. We have uh, connectors. We then program each chip that we want to program. And it's just a matter of putting it on and going to each device. As you can see, we have a number of them. Uh, they're all over, so we do quite a bit. And when that's done, we'll put the cover back on it and put it in the storage device. And from there, the module then goes over to the machine. It takes five minutes to do a complete upgrade on a module. And it takes us approximately one hour to upgrade 24 modules, which is considered a cabinet. 